Hey friends and once again welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Valorant VAN 9003 error. This build of Vanguard is out of compliance with current system settings. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed. Right click on start menu and choose the option run. Type here MS Info32 and hit the enter key. From here, you need to make sure that your BIOS mode is UEFI. If it is legacy, then you need to change your BIOS mode to UEFI. Secondly is make sure that your secure boot state must be on. If it is off or if it is inactive, you need to enable them both. Thirdly is in order to enable UEFI mode as well as secure boot state to be on, make sure that your CSM mode must be disabled in the BIOS. All these settings you need to perform in the BIOS menu only. First one is you need to turn off the CSM mode. Secondly is you need to turn on secure boot. And thirdly is you need to change your BIOS mode to UEFI mode. So let's proceed and enter into the BIOS mode and I'll show you how you can do that. For different manufacturer, we have a different BIOS key which I will share you in the description of this video so that you can continue pressing that particular key to enter into the BIOS menu. So once you have entered into the BIOS, head over to the boot menu and from here you need to change the BIOS mode to UEFI mode. If it is legacy, you need to change it to UEFI mode. Secondly, you need to disable CSM support. After doing these two changes, head over to the security tab and in security tab, you need to enable the secure boot. One more thing friends, in secure boot, if you have an option of changing the secure boot from standard to custom or custom to standard, first change your secure boot from standard mode to custom mode and then hit the enter key. Once done this, again change your secure boot mode from custom mode to standard mode. After that, hit the F10 key which means that you are going to save the changes. Once changes are saved, your system will restart. So restart your PC and again head over to the BIOS menu and then again head over to the security tab and from this point of view, check your secure boot again. This time it must be enabled. If it is inactive, make sure you change it to enable by switching your secure boot from standard to custom and then again custom to standard. This will change your secure boot to the enable state. After doing these changes, simply go ahead and restart your PC and your problem regarding the Vanguard, this built of Vanguard is out of compliance with current system settings, will be completely fixed out. As of now, sadly, this is the only possible way to play Valorant in Windows 11. If the problem still persists, I can only suggest you is to go back and reinstall Windows 10 in order to play Valorant until the manufacturer of the game fix out the issue for you in Windows 11 PC. If you like this video and it works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.